All right, what do we got here? So this is the Edgun Behemoth silencer system. So it comes in two different versions, the Trilug uh, here on the right and the Reflex Trilug on the left. So I'm gonna put this one kind of over here. We'll talk about that in a second, but first let's talk about uh, this guy, the Reflex, or excuse me, the Trilug version. So uh, first and foremost, um, this is not a Eggun Lashy 2 specific silencer. So um, you get to choose two different thread sizes. So if you're a Lashy 2 guy, uh, you get to do the M14. If anything else, it, it also comes in half UNF. So for the half UNF folks, what you're going to get is the silencer, which we'll talk about. And then this little piece right here that threads onto the barrel, and that is the trilog itself. And we'll go through that kind of stuff in a little bit more detail here throughout this video. Um, so uh, for Leshy 2 people, that's what I'm going to focus on kind of from here on out. For Leshy 2 people, by the way, this is hands down the quietest suppressor I have ever run on the Leshy 2. And that's quite a feat because this thing can bark uh, if you're running it hot. So um, for Lesh 2 folks, uh, in the Trilug, what you get is you'll get the suppressor, and then based on the barrel length, you will get uh, a aluminum handguard, although you can get it without this if you already have one of the old ones. But I'll show you the differences between the two on why you may want to grab one. In fact, I'll do that right now. So this is the 250, and... Um, with this short little new handguard, this is the only one that doesn't have a little M lock slot just because the trilug kind of will uh, fill that and kind of take it. Um, yeah, you can't use the M lock there. So the rest of them uh, will have a uh, will have M lock slots. So here is what one of the things that makes this thing so special. Boom. The trilug makes this a quick detach. Now the new aluminum handguards that come with this as a as like a kit if you choose that option have no gap so that's really the difference they're just a little bit longer so this little short one comes with the 250 and that's what that is for and then just gets longer as you go up in uh barrel size so let me show you uh let me show you right here this is a 350 barrel with the old 150 uh, aluminum handguard uh, and so as you go up in size you can just go up uh, corresponding to a little bit bigger so as you go to 450 you just increase the uh, the old aluminum handguard size so this is the 150 handguard um, the Valkyrie one with just the trilug on the end and you'll see how it sticks out just a little bit and I think you'll know where I'm going with this that's gonna be the net result is that a little bit of a gap. Uh, <clears throat> some people hate it. I actually kind of like it. I think it looks cool, but um, hey, to each their own. So now you got options. Okay, let me put that guy down. So this is the Trilug version, and that's what you're gonna get uh, with those guys. Now we'll go a little bit more in depth uh, on this guy. This is the Reflex version. So it's the Reflex. Uh, Behemoth Reflex Trilog. Uh, and for that, we're going to introduce this piece. Now, let's start with just looking at the top. So, in the top of these, uh, the suppressor is identical. Um, the baffle, or, or excuse me, it's a hairdryer uh, type um, baffle system in there. They're not actual baffles, and that's what makes this thing so quiet. But um, you have inside here, that's the Trilog piece. So you notice, same thing here, but it's got this extra little piece or section kind of on the outside. That's what we're gonna focus on for uh, this guy. Let me just make this so it stops rolling. Okay, so that's where this comes into play. And this is the reflex shroud. Uh, and so you have the trilug, it's kind of screws into it, uh, a very important uh, O-ring right here. And there's another one inside of this. If you were to unscrew this, there's another O-ring here. And that keeps everything nice and tight and airtight. So what's happening is as air, and by the way, the Leshy 2 is just an enormous, just violent levels of air that are going through here. And on this version, we're basically, instead of having all that air come out the muzzle, what it's doing is it's stripping it along the way. 
Uh, so before it even gets into these systems inside of here, it is going to, in here, it kind of redirects and strips some air and then pushes it backwards where it's stripped again right here on this outer ring uh, and then uh, again through here. So, and it just disperses. So there's no, this is all sealed inside here. So there's no blowback or anything in your face. So let's actually just look at the guy. So let's get it here and boom. Okay. Now that this is sealed, you can see, or shut, I mean, you can see, see how that's all nice and sealed in there. And so this is a complete system. This, and I have to be careful about showing this on YouTube. It's kind of stupid but I can't actually slide this on the barrel itself. So I'll show you one that's already done. So this just goes right over the barrel. The barrel goes all the way up and then it threads right about here. And you thread this thing on. I will tell you, uh, there Ed notched out a little section of the trilug here on either side to get a wrench in there. Uh, you don't have to crank crank down, but definitely use that wrench. Uh, and just kind of like hand tight. You don't need to lean into it. You definitely don't need to put it in a vise or anything crazy. You just don't want to do it with your hand because it won't get tight enough. So now that you got that in and uh, we're going to actually, you know, I'm going to put this off to the side. We're going to talk about the different barrel lengths and what you get. So this is the 450 version. This already on here is the 350. Uh, and so what you get with this guy, so this will come in 350, 450 and 600 in the trilug, uh, the reflex trilug. So 250, you're going this side, and then you can also get the other barrel lengths, or you could do the reflex system in 350, 450, and 600. Um, okay, so this is for the 450 barrel. For the 350 barrel, uh, it's a little bit shorter, and then it'll be a little bit longer for the 600. It comes with a handguard. This looks very similar to uh, the carbon fiber hangar that um, has already previously been released. The difference is, and I'm gonna put this off to the side to show you this, it's got a little bit more room. It's slightly bigger, and what that does is it makes these, actually, you can use them, these m locks. So for this particular setup, no big deal. I'm not running really anything in here, um, but on like my night vision ones, I'm running, uh, you know, like a sniper hog lights or something, and so I can actually just snap those in and make good use of those before the like the the mod 40 from huma that went in here uh, it didn't have enough space so you couldn't actually use those m-locks so it kind of defeated the purpose of them so um the last piece that i want to talk about and then we'll do a little bit of shooting so you can hear it uh is aligning this thing so let me put these off to the side and you know what i'll just use this one because it's all the same thing so you see this line uh, and this comes on at all the suppressors. So uh, that line, if you see that tiny little amount of wiggle room, that's the only way it's gonna go in. So if I was here, it's not going, it's not going, it's not going, right there is where it's gonna go. And so what I like to do is I like to line this up with a very specific consistent spot. So if I know that right here, I'm using this line and then my final destination is straight up and down, so now anytime I grab it, I just look for that line and I know exactly where it goes. And you can, you can put this on and off in a second, right? If not, you're going to be fumbling around a little bit. So how to align that is pretty simple. Uh, I was actually lucky enough on this one. It just worked. I couldn't believe it. But uh, all you have to do is lock the thing in place. So the barrel's nice and tight. You're locking it in place with the final destination of where you want it to be when you're done that line. I chose just to have it straight up and down. Then uh, go ahead and loosen up your barrel tensioning uh, screws here. There's four of them and turn it to where you want that to be, like that final line to be. Uh, or you can choose where you want the line up. So if you want to line it up like really perfect with this little line on the handguard, you could do that. Uh, and once you have that set to where the final destination is going to be, cool. You lock these all back down and now your suppressor is good to go. So. As I said, guys, this is hands down the greatest suppressor I've ever run on this gun. Not even close. Um, it's incredibly, incredibly quiet. And it's the best of both worlds. Compact, fits in. I'm out in the, you know, I'm out in the field, out in the backpack. Boom, boom, boom. 
So I lo absolutely love this thing, and I can't wait to see some of the feedback as it gets uh, released uh, to you guys. So thanks for uh, letting me take you through this guy. If you got any questions, fire them off in the comments. I will do my best to answer them. Now, let me just show you a little bit of how quiet this thing actually is. 